In this video, we will review what are the more important MongoDB features. In part one, we will discuss indexes, distributed queries, and read preferences. In part two, we will discuss distributed write operations, write concerns, and query plans and optimizers. The simplest index is on a single field within the document. In this example, our collection has fields name, date, and cost. If we were to take the documents in the order they appear in the collection, we would see Smith, Jones, Adams, and Lee. The index is on the field name. The number 1 indicates the fact that the index is in ascending order. Accordingly, the index will end up with Adams, Jones, Lee, and Smith, with pointers to the appropriate documents within the collection. Any queries which are performed strictly on the index field will then be automatically optimized. There is also the possibility of indexing on more than one field. This is referred to as a compound index. In this example, we are indexing on cost, descending, followed by name, ascending. In the original collection, you can see that Smith appears twice the first time with a cost factor of 11.99, the second time the cost is 99.99. However, because Adams also has a cost of 99.99, .99, the name Adams will appear before Smith in the index. Thus, cost is the primary factor for the index and name is the secondary factor. Read operations which are applied to a cluster of servers which share a collection are referred to as distributed queries. The application which is running on a server uses its MongoDB driver to make a query of the Mongos. Mongos is a term which refers to the MongoDB shard routing service. The shard is a portion of the overall database. The shards then run on various servers within the cluster. The configuration server is used to provide metadata which allows the Mongos to locate the appropriate shard. In an optimal situation, the read request would be accompanied by what is referred to as a shard key. In this example, the shard key is A. The read request goes to the Mongos which then routes the information to the appropriate shard, in this case shard B. The results are then returned from the cluster through the routing service and back to the application. If, on the other hand, a shard key does not accompany the read request, results can still be obtained, however, they are scattered. In this case, each server with a shard which participates in the collection must individually respond to the read request. Thus, in this situation, we end up with three read requests and three sets of results being sent back through the routing service and ultimately back to the application. The database designer, however, does have a certain amount of control over where the read requests go. This is done through setting what are referred to as read preferences. The read preferences indicate whether you want to only involve the primary or only involve the secondary or, in a last case, just indicate nearest, which means that the routing service makes the determination as to which replica would have the best possible results. In review, Indexes improve performance for frequent queries. They are based on a single field or a set of fields which is referred to as a compound index. Queries which are based only on indexed fields are optimal. They can affect various operations including sort. There are also other types of indexes which include multi-key, geospatial, text, and hashed. The properties of the index could further be restricted to unique, or sparse, which affects documents with different sets of fields. Distributed queries are performed against sharded clusters. Sharded clusters are a group of clustered servers which share in a collection which has been split up into smaller data sets referred to as shards. The reads are most efficient when accompanied by a shard key. This allows the routing service to direct the read to a specific shard. When the shard key is not included, this results in a scatter gather query, which can be inefficient. To control the query process, you can establish read preferences. The read preferences concern how the query is made against replica sets. The different modes allow you to indicate whether the primary or the secondary should or should not be involved, or if you simply want the nearest replica.
This concludes our presentation for part one of what are the more important MongoDB features.